this is engineering mechanics part 6. Tuloy natin, no? Part 6 will be situation 10 and situation 11 or problems number 29 hanggang problem 34. So, for situation, situation number 10, we have three bodies A, B, and C. At given yung weights nila, we have block A is 50 newtons, block B is 100 newtons, saka block C is 150 newtons. And neglect, neglect natin yung mass ng pulley at saka nung cord, ang hinahanap is this three values. We have the acceleration of block A, acceleration of block B, at saka acceleration ni block C. So, ang hinahanap is kapag gumalaw to, itong system natin na to, ano yung acceleration ni block A, B, at saka si C. Pagka-release mo, gagalaw siya, magkakaroon ng motion. So, sa unang tingin, parang hindi siya gagalaw yung 150. Ito no, yung 150 parang hindi gagalaw kasi... 150 to, pag in mo ton A at B, 150 rin yan. So, parang balance siya. Pero, may kita natin, mamaya, pag, pag nag-solve tayo, hindi yun yung case because this is unbalanced. Si A at B unbalanced, there will be a motion and that motion will induce a force or kakaroon ng change dito sa string na to. So, anyway, uh, tingnan natin, no? Uh, let's take block C. It weighs 150 newtons at syempre ang mass niyan is 150 newtons divided by yung yung g natin na 9.81 meters per second squared. And ito ay binubuhat ng isang tali. Let's call this a uh, tension 1, yung tali na yan. Ito no, ito yung pre-body diagram. Let's assume na magmo-move yung yung block C natin, pababa. Let's assume that there will be an acceleration. Let's call this acceleration 1 na pababa. So, this is the pre-body diagram of block C. Now, summing of forces uh, vertical, so let's take upward as positive. Hindi to equilibrium dahil gumagalaw siya. Meron tayong acceleration. So, this must be equal to mass times yung acceleration ng system natin. So, Makukuha natin, we have yung tension minus yung 150 newtons na force pa baba. Dapat equal yan sa mass which is 150 over 9.81 times yung acceleration A sub 1. This is our first equation. So, tingnan natin itong part na to nung, nung system natin, itong AB na part. Pag in-isolate mo yung AB na part, so ito yung pulley, and then we have a string, of course, T1 din yung tension ng string, because let's call this tension 2. From that system, alam natin na, okay, alam natin na T1 must be equal to twice ng T2. Nag-sum up lang ako ng forces uh, vertical. So, let's call this the second equation. So, ito yung block A. Ang weight niya is 50 newtons. At alam natin na ang mass niya should be 50 over 9.81. Merong tension force na nag hold sa kanya, which is T sub 2. Yun yung kanina. And let's assume na gagalaw to pataas. Since mas mabigat si B, 100 si B, 50 lang si A. So, gagalaw siya pataas. Let's assume that there will be an acceleration uh, pataas. But remember, na yung acceleration niya pataas is eh, hindi lang yun. No? Kung maaalala mo, yung block C natin is accelerating downward ng A sub 1. It means na yung buong block na to, yung system ni AB, which is ito, it's actually accelerating upwards ng A sub 1. So, ibig sabihin, yung acceleration ni block A is a combination nung, nung paghila sa kanya ni B okay, at saka yung paghila nung 150 newton uh, weight dito sa kabila. Aangat kasi itong tali na to pag anon, aangat siya. At the same time, habang umaangat siya, umaangat din to pag anon at tapos bumababa dito sa kabila yung, yung 50 at saka 100. So, this is a combination 
of a sub 1 plus let's call another acceleration a sub 2. a sub 1 is yung pag-angat nung tali nung maliit na pulley because of the 150 newton force. A sub 2 naman is yung pag-angat niya mismo dahil inihila siya ng 100. Mas mabigat si 100 kay 50. So, this is the pre-body diagram of block A. And from there, pag nag-summation ka ng forces sa vertical ulit, you will get T sub 2 minus 50 is equal to the mass, which is 50 over 9.81, times the acceleration, which is a combination of A1 plus A2. So, let's call this our third equation, equation number 3. Similarly, pag kinuha mo yung pre-body diagram of block B sub 2. But anyway, ang makukuha mo equation dyan, pag nag-summation ka ng forces uh, vertical is T sub 2 minus 100. Okay, T sub 2 minus 100 equal yun sa mass times yung acceleration na A sub 1 minus A sub 2. Now, nakakuha na tayo ng apat na equation, iipunin natin sila isa-isa. Oh, by the way, Ah, uh, pababa kasi yung inassume kong a sub 1 dito so dapat pala ito negative to. So ito yung apat na equation and this is four equations for unknowns. So ang pinakamadaling paraan dito is palitan muna natin to ng t sub 2 by substituting to yung second equation sa kanya. Kaya magiging ganito no, t. So we have three equations, equation 1 Okay, equation 1, equation 2, and saka equation 3. I-arrange mo lang sila. And then, gamitin natin yung calculator natin para ma-solve. Okay, so i-arrange mo sila. Dapat negative to. Ito yung makukuha natin. And then, ita-type mo lang yung coefficients dito sa calculator. So, we have T2 is 70.59 okay, newtons. A1 is 0 0.577 and lastly, yung A3 is 3.46 or 462. Okay. Acceleration of block A, acceleration of block B, at saka acceleration of block C. So, si block C, yung acceleration ni block C, madali na yun because that is A sub 1. Ito yung sagot natin for uh, number 31. So, that is ang pinakamalapit ay letter D. Okay, so letter D. How about acceleration ni block A at saka ni block C? Acceleration ni block A at block C. Kung maalala mo, si block A is accelerating upward ng A1 plus A2. Kaya i-add mo sila. And ang pinakamalapit na sagot is letter C para kay block A. Si block B naman, isusubtract mo sila. Kasi di ba yung kay block B natin, it's accelerating downward ng a1 minus A2. May negative to. Ibig sabihin, pababa. Which is letter A ang acceleration ni block B. Situation 11 for problems 32 to 34. Uh, I have here a truss. And the truss is made of steel having a mass per linear meter or per, per length of 4 kilograms per meter. Now, Madali tong question kasi nakalagay oh, set P equals 0. So, huwag nyo papansinin yung mga nakaload na P. Neglect na rin natin yung weight ng gasset plates and assume its joint is a pin. So, it's like an ideal truss. So, anyway, uh, yung weight ng members yung nag act doon sa, sa mga joints natin. So, ang weight niya is 4 kilograms per meter and kinonvert ko na dito sa baba. It's 39.24 newtons per meter. So, ang gagawin ko lang, okay, para malaman ko kung ano yung weight ng truss na nag act sa isang joint, kukunin ko yung parang tributary length acting on that joint. So, let's, let's take one joint. So, at joint A, so kung wari, ito si A, ito yung length ng truss sa kalahati. Okay, so hatiin mo siya doon sa kalahati lang. Parang parang ito yung joint A, di ba? Joint A. Ito, kunin mo yung kalahati ng member na to, yun yung bubuhati ni A. Yung kabilang kalahati, bubuhati ni B. So parang ganito rin dito sa portion na to hanggang sa kalahati lang. And may kita mo, 4 meters yung sukat niyan. So this should be 2 meters. 
And this one, okay, using some uh, trigonometry, Pythagorean theorem, alam mo na 2 meters ito. So, the hypotenuse is uh, 4 squared plus 2 squared is square root. Okay, so 4 squared, calculate natin yan para sure. Kasi square root ng answer. 2 square root of 5. So, kalahate is square root of 5 meters. Yan yung total length ng truss na parang tributary doon kay point A. So, the total length is 2 plus 5. So, length is 2 plus square root of 5. At para makuha mo yung weight doon sa point A, magkakaroon ng parang loading yan eh. Ng loading kay point A, P sub A. Okay, P sub A is yung weight nun ng total length na yun. So, that's 39.24 times 2 plus square root of 5. So, that's 166.22. So, PA is 166.22 newtons. Yun yung nakaload kay A because of the weight of the members. And we will do that for all uh, for all joints nung trust natin. Hanggang mabuo natin yung, mga, yung loadings nung bawat joint. So, let's do that. Ito naman kay joint B. Kukunin ko lang yung kalahati. So, ito yung trust ko. No? So, this is the trust. Kukunin ko yung kalahati ng member na to. Ito yun. So, this should be 2 meters. Kalahati ng member na to. Again, 2 meters. At kalahati na to. Kung 2 meters to, ang kalahati niyan, 1 meter. So, may kita mo dito yon. And, ang total length ng truss na naaapektuhan si joint B is 5 meters. So, ang total weight na sinasalo ni joint B or, or napupunta kay joint B is 196.2 meters. So, alam na natin kung paano i-distribute yung weight na yon papunta doon sa mga joints. Ganon din gagawin yon para doon sa mga ibang joints. Pero what is the question? The question is una, find the force in member uh, AE. So, find the force in member AE. So, kung since member AE ang inahanap natin, punta tayo doon kay joint A. Ito yung joint A. So, alam natin na yung joint A will experience a uh, force dun sa joint na 166.22. So, kopyahin natin to into a blank sheet. Ang AE is itong portion na to. Ito ang AE. Ayan, yung naging dilaw na part. Okay, ito yung papunta kay E. So, yan ang AE. So, ang pre-body diagram ni joint A ngayon, pag drawing mo, ito ay ito yung force sa AB. Ito yung force sa AE. Okay, assuming tension lahat. And then, merong force na 166.22 newtons doon kay joint A. To get AE, uh, ang gagawin ko lang, magsasummation ako ng vertical forces. Must be equal to zero for equilibrium. So, we have negative 166.22 uh, minus... FAE times, para makuha yung kanyang component, yung kanyang slope triangle is 2, 1 square root of 5. So, that's 1 over square root of 5. Okay? Ito ang kanyang vertical component. Must be equal to 0. And from here, you can solve FAE or the force in AE must be negative 372 newtons or 372 in uh, newtons in compression. So, here, here is the answer for uh, the force in AE, which is letter D dito sa ating choices. Okay, next question is to find the force in member AB. So, again, ito pa rin yun. Ito pa rin yung pre-body diagram. Ang inahanap lang natin is yung force kay member AB. So, kopyahin natin yung pre-body diagram. To get the force in member AB, anong gagawin natin? Magsasummation lang tayo ng forces horizontal. Kailangan equal sa zero. So, paano yun? We have, uh, ito ay 2, 1 square root of 5. So, we have 2 over square root of 5 nung force AE plus yung FAB must be equal to 0. At alam natin na yung FAE is 372 in 
compression or negative 372 newtons in tension. Since tension yung drawing ko dito, yun yung sinunod ko, negative 372 yung isa substitute ko doon. So, we have negative 372. Okay? Then, FAB equals to 0. And solving for FAB, so FAB, 332 newtons in tension, and that is letter A. Last question for this situation, find the force in member BE. At para makuha yung member B, of course, kailangan nandun tayo kay joint B. So, member BE. Ito yung B dito, banda yung point E. So, ang member BE is this member, itong blue. Okay. So, assuming tension yan, nakikita mo na pag nag-summation ka ng forces vertical, you have 196.2 plus, let's say, summation of forces vertical equals 0. Let's say, downward as positive. So, 196.2 yung FB, uh, force at B, PB, plus yung FBE must be equal to 0. So, FBE is yung negative ng 196.2 newtons. This is in tension dahil lagi kong ina-assume na tension lahat. But of course, dahil negative siya, it means that the answer is about 196 newtons in compression. So, madali yung pangatlong tanong dahil straight lang naman yung members natin. Okay? So, that is letter C for number 34. Like me yung video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo hindi dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe!